Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. Alright, before we get started with the topic of today, I would like to take a moment to say thank you to all of you guys. Um, reason being, first of all, that I appreciate that you're supporting my channel, but I just hit 20,000 subscribers, so I'm really thrilled about that, alright? So, uh, yeah, thanks, that's all I can say, alright? Cool. So, for our video of today, uh, I've been asked to demonstrate how to uh, rotate blinds, so window blinds, right? So, I model this uh, little thing here, and what we'll do is we'll take this uh, bottom blind here, and as you can see, when I move it, it moves along, and it moves exactly to the position where it should, and no further than that, okay? And what I'll do is I'll teach you how to do that. Okay, cool. So first of all, <clears throat> how do you create a blind? Okay, just going to take a simple polygon cube. We're going to hit R. We're going to pull that out. Hit W, move it to the front a little bit. All right. We'll hit R, bring it in a little. We're going to squish it. And let's go to our modeling menu and insert edge loop tool and we'll do multiple and we'll do three and there you go all right then we're going to switch to this view hit f to zoom in right click go to vertex take these vertices hit w come on push that up and push that up all right okay now, once you get one of those, we're going to right click go to object mode. Let's hit three to preview smooth it. You can see that it needs some edges at the end. So we'll just quickly do that. Hit one to go back. Insert edge loop tool, option box, multiple, and we'll do two. Add them right there. Hit R and push that out. Okay. Hit Q on the keyboard, right click object mode, select it, and hit 3 to preview smooth. All right, so we got our first blind. Now, to copy them up, if you will, we're just going to select it. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move up to the height that you want. That's about right. And then we're just going to hit Shift D and work our way up. All right. So that's exactly what I did, and we'll just get rid of that for now. And for our little ropes, let me just rotate that open. I just created a couple of cylinders. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, how do we get this to rotate? Now, first of all, if you want to have things rotate correctly, the pivot point of your blind has to be centered, okay? If your pivot point's over here and you rotate, then it's going to go all, you know, wrong. So select your object and go up to uh, Modify and Center Pivot to make sure it's centered, all right? Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select your lowest blind and you're going to Shift Select the next one. You're going to go to your Rigging menu. We're going to go to Rigging to constrain and you're going to select orient constraint okay and once you do that this blind will follow that blind okay now we've got a bunch more so what you do next is once you have this and that selected and you click on that then you select the second one and shift select the third one and hit G to repeat last command okay then you select that one and that one hit G for last command like that one and that one, G, and so forth, until you're all the way up, okay? Now, if you do that, you will get this effect, which is good. Now, let's take it one step further. I want the blinds to rotate, but that's the only thing I want them to do. I don't want them to move from left to right. I don't want them to scale up or down, whatnot. So, I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Control a to go to my channel box. And there are a couple of things that I want, or actually there's one thing that I want. I want rotation and X. All the others I do not. So I'm going to drag select all the translate values, right click, 
and go to lock selected. So I can no longer do that, right? So if I want to move this, for example, it's grayed out. I can't do that, right? Same for the other rotation values and for the other skill values. So right click and go to lock selected. Where do you go? Right there, okay? So not quite there yet because now we can rotate the sky by hitting E and it all reacts okay. But what I want is when I rotate it all the way up that it stops in the horizontal position and all the way down that it closes but doesn't go straight through, okay? So we're gonna switch this view, hit F to zoom in, and I don't want them to touch. I want them to open to that level, like so. Now, how do we sort that out? We're gonna select this guy, and we're gonna hit Control A for our attribute editor, and we're gonna go to our polycube one, and then if we scroll down, you have the tab limit information, okay? Now, if you select that, you have a value set for limit X, because that's our rotation, okay? Now, what I've done is I looked at, okay, how far does it rotate in this position? That's going to be 83.6, okay? I set that to 84. So I set my maximum rotation to 84. Then I brought it back. Oh, hang on. And I said, okay, that's a zero. So I want my minimum rotation to be zero. So I set these two values. And in the middle, you can see where my current situation is. And with that said, I can now go in and take that and it will stop where it should. All right. So that's all there's to it. Easy peasy. Okay. So if you have any questions, let me know. And for those of you who are patrons to my site, you will find this uh, Maya file in the shared folder. And if you want to become a patron and support my channel, you will find details below. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and love to see you guys next time. Bye.